Mr. Speaker, I rise today to congratulate the Greek Australian newspaper Nels Cosmos, who this year celebrated its 60th year anniversary. The importance of Nels Cosmos was evident throughout the many pages of its very special anniversary edition, which carried stories and tributes to, to members of the Greek Australian community, past and present, images from its vast collection of photographic archives documenting the challenging times faced by the Greek Australian community as it has made its way through the integration process here in Australia over the last 60 years, but also of its success and prosperity here in Australia. Uh, Deputy Speaker, it was February 1957 when the first Nels Cosmos went to print from a tiny office in Niagara Lane in Melbourne CBD. The four-page edition was filled with news from Greece and reports from Greeks living in Melbourne. Little did the team and the founding editor, Takis Gorgos, know, as history now attests, that on that day they were to print the first edition of one of Australia's most influential ethnic media. And Deputy Speaker, I can tell you that it's the most thoroughly read and sought-after ethnic media here in Parliament House. It's incredibly fitting that the name of Nels Cosmos translates to New World. The newspaper was a byproduct of its time when thousands of Greeks from post-war Europe um, began migrating to Australia, the New World, and they were to be known as New Australians. And as the migrants transitioned to their new world and new life in Australia, Nels Cosmos was there with them throughout their journey. True to the principles of access and equity that have underpinned our multicultural policy, Nels Cosmos upheld with excellence the role of informing, ensuring no one was excluded or disadvantaged because of any language barriers. It educated and challenged while it kept Greek Australians connected to not only their language and culture, but also gave them access to the broader Australian community, especially in the crucial area of settlement services and government agencies so critical in those early years of migrant settlement and integration. And in helping to foster a community, in Else Cosmos became that community's voice. It became more than a newspaper. It became and still is an institution. In our own home, like thousands of other homes across the country, Nels Cosmos was a household staple. In many ways, for me personally, Nels Cosmos was my initial introduction into politics, both at a local Greek community level and a domestic and global level. It's not that I didn't read the mainstream dailies, I did. It's just that Nels Cosmos provided a nuanced news service that certainly helped me understand and be informed about the issues confronting the Greek Australian community and the broader migrant community. From dramatic moments in Australian political history, such as the dismissal in 1975, to its reporting and critiquing of the events surrounding the military junta in Greece in 1967 and the abulation of its fall and return of democracy in 1974, Neos Cosmos has been a serious player in political reporting. I congratulate uh, all the team at Nels Cosmos and wish them every success for another 60 years of service to the Greek Australian community.